We're here today for our LEGO Mindstorms Robot Wars. We have four schools involved. They've all created their own robots and they're going to battle them out in our challenge today. The first is going to be the obstacle course. This is our course here. Rachel came on, she showed us programming, she showed the children programming and then they were really left to their own devices. So they built the robot, they programmed the robot, really all by themselves. From the minute she was on the children were really excited about it. They spent the last week working on the project, building the robot. It's established a lot of cooperation and teamwork in the, within the classroom. We were working on it for just about a week, but we spent about a roughly an hour a day, so it was quite hard, but the instructions were on an iPad and it was, that made it a lot easier. The purpose was to get kids hands-on with technology and to get hands-on thinking about programming. When I took it into the classroom and said that the kids were going to build a Lego robot and competed in Robot Wars, the kids went mad. 58 seconds. It looks fun when they're doing it, but when you think about it, they're actually learning, they're coding, and they're doing things with the robots that, you know, if it wasn't fun, it would be just, you know, seen as code. But because they're doing it in that way, they're actually learning, even though it's still fun. It didn't really matter what, how we did or anything, it was just fun to do. It was really cool, just all the different parts moving together. It's fitting in perfectly into our Use an ICT curriculum. One of our focuses this year for Key Stage 2 is programming. They learned lots of things, teamwork, planning, group work skills and just really a good competitive nature. getting them thinking mathematically, thinking about programming, getting them thinking scientifically as well, getting them engineering, getting them art skills in there as well. A lot of the teachers have said that they're going to continue on with the programming after today and keep it going within their, within their class because each of the classes have their wee robot now to, to practice on. From speaking to even the parents this week, the, the, the children were going home and talking about this and it was they had become really engaged in the whole project. I think that speaks volumes. We won the main battle and I just have to thank all my friends and everyone in my class for cheering us on. It's lovely for the children to have somebody else coming out to the school to teach them. I'm sure they get fed up looking at the same teacher all day, every day, and they like, they like somebody new and she's laughing at that. <laughs>